The Wildcat All In with Weber State men's basketball star Dylan Jones. Do it all DJ, they call you. You like that nickname? Nah, yeah, it's been a good one since I've been here. You know, you kind of do that, though. You lead the team in points and rebounds and assists and steals this year. The free throw percentage in, in the big sky and so many things. So you, you kind of do it, do it all. But let's go a little, little bit, take back and get to know you a little bit. How did you come from South Columbia, South Carolina and get here to Ogden, Utah? It was... It was a crazy. It's a crazy story. Um, so I, you know, born and raised in Columbia, South Carolina, and um, you know, I played at Keenan High School for you know, for four years. I played there as an eighth grader, um, and I played varsity basketball there. And um, I kind of took a leap of faith and went to Sunrise Christian Academy in Wichita, Kansas, and I kind of like was able to go there and grow up a little bit, you know, and um, you know, and it was a great experience for me. I met a lot of great people. And then, you know, I basically played that whole year. Like, I had offers early on, um, but I like I didn't talk to a lot of schools the whole year. And um, I honestly was going through it just because I was, you know, I didn't honestly know where I was going to school. And, um, you know, we were a good team. We were number three in the country, and um, COVID happened. And we were about to go to Geico Nationals, and COVID happened, and everything just shut down. So uh, I honestly didn't know where I was going. And then, like, you know, I got a call from Coach Daniels one day and uh, just kind of just told me that it was interested in me. And then, you know, that's when recruiting kind of went differently. It was kind of like virtual and digital. So um, they kind of just had to go off what they seen. And, you know, thankfully they took a chance on me. Um, and a lot of schools started to offer me in the spring, but uh, Weber State stood out. So and I just ended up going with them because I thought it was the best decision for me. And what did you know about Weber State at the time? So I knew that. Um, you know, I have aspirations to play professionally, and obviously everyone knows Dame. But, like, I did research, and I knew, like, about, you know, Davion Berry, Joel Mullenboy, Jeremy Singlin, Scott Bamforth, you know, and the list goes on, like, Jarek Harding. Like, I knew about those guys, and, you know, maybe they weren't NBA, like, all-stars like Dame, but I knew that they were, you know, doing something that I wanted to do, and that was just, you know, play professionally. So... Um, just seeing a track record of them have that many good players, it stood out to me, you know. And, um, you know, at the time, Coach Ray was a coach, and it was a lot of, you know, just it was like a almost like a cycle of them. Like, they kind of connected. Like, I knew that, you know, Dane playing with, played with Bamforth, and then Bamforth played with Barry, and then, you know, somehow Singlin came in, and then Harding touched Singlin. You know, I knew kind of like how they just had a revolving door of talent, and I just knew that. If I go there, and I knew I, I felt like I was good enough. So I just felt like if I could go there and just be a part of that culture, I would be good. You know, mm -hmm. I thought a lot of teams that recruited me in the spring, you know, they were kind of like new coaches. So they was trying to get their like engines revved up. But Weber State at the time had a lot of tradition and culture. And I just thought that, you know, I didn't have time to chance anything. I just thought that I just wanted to be a part of something that's already been proven. So I just went with it. And you have embraced the history and you do ask about that. You, you keep track of of uh, some of the Wildcat greats for sure. Mm -hmm. And you are on the list and moving up that list fast about rebounding. Mm -hmm. What What is it that you love about rebounding and how? what makes you such a good rebounder? Um, well, what I love about it is I just think that it shows like a rebound is like a passion stat I like to call it. Like if you're playing hard, you're going to just get rebounds. But I remember my freshman year and I was, you know, um, trying to figure it out, you know, just like any freshman not playing well. Or, And my brother told me, he was like, you got to do something that's going to make yourself stand out. And I didn't know, like, he was like, whether that's rebounding, scoring, because, like, everyone wants to score. Like, you know, that's just what college basketball is. But you got to find something else that's going to make you, you know, stand out, whether that's defense, steals, whatever, rebounding diving on the floor, you just got to find something that's going to make you more appealing than the next person because everyone wants to score. And I'll never forget, the next day we had a scrimmage and I had 11 rebounds in like 20 minutes. And I remember like, I never knew I was a good rebounder, but that was the first time like I really tried to rebound. Like, and I was like, I'm going to get every one. And, um, and ever since then, I kind of just took pride in it and just, you know, um, I remember um, going into my sophomore year, um, I told Coach Daniels that I want to average 10. And um, he was he kind of like was like, nah, you can't do that. Like, that's too hard. Like, he was like, um, he was like, 
you know, it's like it's no way you're gonna be able to do that at six six. Like that's hard to do. I could see you get eight, but like it's no way you'll get ten. And I he didn't know, but I kind of took that to heart, you know. And um, and that year I ended up averaging almost eleven, you know. So um, just little things like that. But um, I think it's, you know, like I, I mentioned my brother, and um, he was he was used to work out a lot, obviously being a professional player. And I used to just rebound for him. Like he didn't work with a lot of trainers. He just had me in the gym rebounding. And I remember in the gyms he used to tell me like work on your stuff, like work on like chasing the rebound. Don't don't let it go this far, this far. And I used to not want to run across the gym chasing balls either. So I used to just work on like timing it, like knowing it's coming off here, knowing it's coming off here. So while he was getting better on the court, I was getting better rebounding and yeah. didn't even know it. So So there is kind of a science behind it, right? Where you can can you tell based on the shot where that ball might go? Yeah, like I know like instinctively how it's gonna happen and I don't know if anybody sees me like during pregame warm ups, like when everyone's shooting. Like I'll stand under the basket and I'll like actually like practice rebounding and actually like just work on like my timing and like where it's coming and like just get my instincts flowing and just knowing like where the ball is coming. Cause I, I mean, you can't just go out there and just grab them. You know, you gotta actually like have a feel for it. And I just, right before the game, I usually, I usually do that, so. You've been a part of the Wildcats now for two and a half years. What are some memorable games that stand out for you? Um. Utah State has to be up there, going and winning in there, coming back the way we did um, with the student section, you know, quieting them. That was pretty good. Um, and also, um, I would say that one and probably beating Montana in the uh, tournament last year, um, just because, like, you know, my freshman year, we lost to them in the tournament. And, um, and I just remember that moment of, like, because we – like, I just felt, I remember that moment because, you know, I've never really lost in the playoffs before. And I just remember, like, feeling like that feeling of coming up short. And um, and the way that game started out my second year, we were down 12-0. And it's like, is it going to happen again? And the way for us to come back and I played really well, um, I think that has to be up there. Yeah, for sure. And also, I mean, obviously Montana, the one we just won there at Montana, <laughs> yeah. just the way we won that. Steven hit a big shot. That was that has to be up there yeah. as well. Anytime you're, you can win there. And your 21 rebounds helped, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a few rapid-fire questions. Who's your favorite pro athlete of any sport? Um, any sport? Let's go LeBron James. Okay. Yeah. Who's your favorite team? Maybe you have a favorite NBA team? Uh, no, I just really watch basketball. Yeah. Growing up being a Lakers fan because of Kobe Bryant, but... Um, I could say the Lakers. Mm -hmm. You participated in the camp with the Damien sponsor last summer. What did mm -hmm. you learn from that experience? Um, I learned more. I tell people all the time, I learned more off the court than on the court there. Um, just being up close with Dame and, like, knowing what gets him ticking and, like, just, like, different methods he used. Like, I think that's what really, what really helped me or what I learned from that camp was, like, just how to approach stuff, how to really, like, mentally get yourself going and like use anything as fire, you know? That's what I feel like I learned most from that camp. Uh, favorite food? Um, cereal. <laughs> and I shouldn't be my favorite food, but um, I grew up like eating and loving cereal because I love milk, so. Start the day every day with that? Nah, not too <laughs> much, nah, because it's so unhealthy. I'm trying to be better, but, um, but nah, cereal, especially growing up, that's okay. always been at the top of my list. Favorite ice cream flavor, another unhealthy thing. You have a favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla, not even close. No, oh, just it, vanilla. Yeah, just simple, <laughs> just simple. <laughs> What's your dream vacation? You can go anywhere. Uh, probably uh, somewhere just international. I've never been nowhere in the international before, so maybe like Bora Bora or something like that. Just somewhere where the, you know, the trees and water is different. Just something to see. What's one thing that a lot of people don't know about Dylan Jones. Um, a lot of people don't know that that um, that I probably um, I probably put like every like others before myself like ninety percent of the time, you know. Whether that's making an extra pass or you know going to pick up my teammate that called me ten minutes before he got tutoring to go take him to tutoring, you know, like. I usually go out my way to try to help people, you know, cause just because I think that's why I play well, you know. I do. I try to like incorporate things like that to 
say like, you know, put out good energy in the world, to, you know, so I can play well. You're a treat to watch for mm -hmm. Wildcat fans. I know there's a lot of basketball ahead of you, but uh, it's fun to watch. And thanks for getting to know us, and thanks for being all in the Wildcats. I for sure appreciate it. Go Wildcats.